Hi there. Um, I'm in my studio. We, I'm going to show you a decorating technique. I just thought I'd show you Bertie. Where is he? In his bed. There, look. He's under the table in his little bed. Are you all right, Bertie? Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, he's having a nice stretch. Oh, that's it. Good boy. Um, yeah, he sleeps under the desk. He's got this filthy old old pillow that he loves to sleep on he's a funny old bugger actually he's not that old he's five years old but he is and he's a sweetie okay so um i just want to show you a sweet little um decorative technique um it's it's i'm just fiddling with my hair i cut my own hair the other day i'm calling it scarecrow look <laughs> anyway um so I'm going to show you a leaf resist technique today. So I have already um, decorated just a flat slab of clay, sort of floppy-ish. Okay, I've just bunged on a load of different um, slip colours, just like that. Any old how, you can be quite painterly, you can think of it like a, well, just like a painting really. Um, I've gone outside and I've picked myself, I love these leaves, they're so nice. This is um. This is a tree peony and it just has the most beautiful shaped leaves. And also, if you look at the back, can you see those ribs are quite, um, quite pronounced? And that's good because that's going to make a, an indentation into the clay. Um, and also, they're just such a lovely shape, aren't they? I love this plant. And the other thing is that leaf, the leaves are quite flat and that's important as well. OK, so let's just um, let's just take one of these. So I'm actually going to take off. Well, what am I going to do? Uh, which one do I, oh, I like that one so you're going to get your leaf and you are going to sort of just press it you just want to press it in to the surface of the clay get it to grip in there and also you're going to just want to get it in the right position you're going to get your rolling pin and you're going to roll that leaf in to the surface of the clay so that the clay is sort of really gripping the leaf okay i'll just show you just now hold on let's see if i can lift that up okay can you see it's sort of gone right 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 into the clay it's sort of the you know it's it's pressed right in and all those lovely ribs are going to be making a glasses i'm saying nothing um so <laughs> So let's just make sure that's fully in there. Brilliant. OK, so once you've got your leaf kind of pressed into your <clears throat> bit of clay, what you can do is you can get your top layer. I'm just going to use some some blues. Let's see. I'm just going to be quite, I want it to be quite loose. In fact, actually, if I, I wonder if I can hold it up. So let's just put a bit of other colours over the top. OK, so... We'll see what happens. I just want to loosen it up a bit with a bit of white as well. I don't want it to be too um, blue, you know, I don't want it to be too solid. A little bit of white. And I love all the brush marks and everything. So you want to make sure that you've gone all over the actual leaf, okay, so there are no bits that you've missed. Okay, that'll do. It's very, very quick and easy. So I bunged a bit of blue, two different blues and a white on, okay? And now, um, really, you could let that dry a little bit if you were at home, but I'm going to cheat just a tiny weeny bit with my hot air gun, but you can just let it dry a little bit. I mean, let's just, let's whack it up. Right, okay, that's better. I just wanted to just take the, you know, the worst of that off. Right, so... Can you see the leaf has started to dry a little bit where I've used the hot air gun, but you can just leave yours. Just leave it until the shine comes off of it, okay? And then um, I'm just gonna peel that off, okay? And what you've got is the leaf print. Oh, look, it looks a bit like it's against the sky. <laughs> I didn't even plan that. Okay, so you've got all the lovely, um, you know, little, what are they called? Veins, all the veins in the leaves. And it's it just comes out really well. So obviously, if you wanted like a more, you know, you could do it with like black and white or it could be very, very much more contrasty than that. 
but you get the idea. So you need a flat leaf, ideally, and also an, a leaf that has, you know, kind of some ribs on the back, you know, because they actually work really, really well. Or like it could be, you know, it could be a fern. They, they can be quite delicate at this time of year, but you've just got to be really careful. So you can experiment pressing natural materials into the clay um, and using the slips to, uh, to you, you know, get some colour on there. And yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't love it because the contrast isn't, isn't really enough. But, you know, it shows, it shows the technique. It shows the technique. Um, yeah, I would, I would probably like to see that with more contrast. So like more dark and light. Um, but anyway, you get the gist, you get the general gist. And then of course you can use this slab of clay to make something else with. You could cut a tile out, you could make a little, you could make a little dish. You could just cut that. Where's my knife? Um, you can just, you know, do whatever you like with that, basically. You've now got a decorated slab of clay. Um, so you could just take a tiny piece of that. Um, I'm just thinking if I can make a little... Because yesterday, when I did the soap dishes, I just made one of them into just like a little dish without, you know, without making the holes just decorate it's quite sweet you could kind of make a little dish like that you know you want to make something that um where you don't need to touch the surface of that too much because otherwise you're going to ruin it but even if you just kept kept them flat and made some beautiful tiles or something or just made like a little bowl or you know anything you like really it's just a decorated slab of clay that you can then do something with um, i'm just trying to think what i can quickly do with it what can i quickly do with it um, diddly um, um, all a bit spur of the moment. I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it because I haven't really planned for that. So, yeah, so get your leaf. God, it's really raining out there now. It's pouring with rain. Gosh, it's cold as well, isn't it? I mean, back in my woolly jumpers and the heating's on. Um, so, yeah, just to recap, a nice flat leaf. Tree peonies are very good if you know anyone who has a tree peony in their garden. Ferns work really well. Um, just experiment grasses. You can really um, do some lovely things. And let's see, I've got enough time to quickly do another one. Because what I could show you is if you don't put any, um, if you don't put any slip underneath, let's see what happens. So I'm going to just quickly roll that into the surface. Okay. And let's just do something really, really contrasty. Let's just put the, the white over the top. Okay, so I'm just actually putting some white slip over the top. And this one, you'll see the um, what it looks like with sort of a bit more contrast. Okay, and I quite like just the sort of random brush marks. Okay, so can you see I've just rolled the leaf in and I've just put white slip on top. Give it a quick glass, but you're just going to wait at home. There's a lot of waiting around in pottery. It's all about the timing. It really, really is. It, um... Oops. I like to say it teaches you great patience. But if you ask, like, a member of my family if I'm very patient, I'm not sure exactly what they would say. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, moving on. Right, I'm just sort of digging out. Oh, I've had to dig that out a little bit. Let's see. Okay, so now you can see what it's like with much more contrast, just like dark and white there. Okay, so you can see, hello, um, that you get all the little marks of the leaf. And it really does show up all the detail there. I hope you can see. It's amazing. Um, obviously, that's a bit not very good but you get the idea leaf prints they're really good fun have a go and show me please okay i hope you're all enjoying your pottery and um i'm a bit fed up with lockdown now it's just gone on quite a long time now and i'm just it's raining and cold and we're all we're all feeling it aren't we 
so maybe some lovely leaf prints would be a fun thing to do. Make sure your leaves are dry because I had to pick mine and kind of leave it to dry out for a while because it was soaking wet. Um, yeah, make sure they're dry, otherwise it's all going to get slithery and slippery and not going to work so well. Okay, hope you enjoy your leaf prints. Lots of love. See you soon. Bye.